Hello, I'm Rob from Reach11 and we'll be doing a quick review of Warframe. Just a quick warning, my microphone hasn't got great quality so please forgive me. I will be using push to talk so I can eliminate any background noise. Warframe is a third person action game being developed by Digital Extremes. It's a PC only game and is currently in closed beta. It can be played solo or with up to four players in co-op, being developed on the Evolute engine, which I haven't heard of before, but it seems to give off some pretty impressive results, as you'll see. The um, the character model looks uh, pretty high quality. I'm shooting this in the highest settings uh, on a GTX 680. Um, two gigabytes of RAM on that, an Intel Core 3370K, but that's enough for the specs for now. So, um, for the story, from what I gather from uh, the website and uh, Wikipedia page and from the game itself, um, you play as a warrior race called Tenno. Uh, they specialise in blade-like weapons and are fairly nimble, but that's what I gather from the uh, actual gameplay. The character moves fast, you have rolling and dashes and you use the sword a lot if you want. Um, the Tenno were an old race and so um, they were eliminated in an old war from what I gather but now um, they're coming back because of this uh, race called the Grenier or some force called the Grenier um, this mystic force summons you, the Tenno um, I think this force or the person behind this force is called Lotus or the Lotus um, but she, uh, being a person is certainly the guiding voice in this game. She uh, she guides you through the tutorials of how to play and various other things. Okay, so um, what I'm doing here, I'm just going through the menus right now, um, showing you some of the customizable stuff. Um, but now I shall jump into a game. Once you uh, click on a planet, you'll start and bring up a small sorry I'm just waiting for this guy to stop mumbling um, a small little mini map type thing of uh, the other planets and when you click on one you'll start an automatic joining session where you'll be paired up with other players you can select solo play I have done a solo but it's considerably harder um, cooperatively this will be my first go actually and I'm quite looking forward to it Right, so as you can see there, the other players in blue, um, they turn blue when they go behind obstacles, of course, so you can see where they are. The way it's presented, I quite like it. It's um, The reflections seem very nice. The graphics are, are really good, actually, for a uh, free-to-play free game. Obviously, there's like a mini currency in the game with which you can buy other options. Oh, to the left, there's the Lotus guiding you um, and coming up now you'll see the first Grenier there they are, they're big bulky buggers they look like deformed humans of some sort and I don't exactly know what the Tenno are but they have these cool exoskeleton suit type things on um, the design of them is quite nice um, although it isn't something I would have personally chosen but it's not like it's ugly it's, it's an interesting take and it's definitely different. There's some of the sword play in action. I'm not ex really very good at this game. I've only played it uh, twice now, this being the second time. Um, playing it by yourself is considerably harder though. Um, there are a lot of enemies, or at least there was on the solo mission I played. But when you do it on four player co-op, it seems to get a bit easier. There also seems to be really only two main types of enemy in this game. There are those big, large, bulky guys you see with the guns, and there are those there are skinny, smaller people with um, blades on their hands or rotating chainsaw type things. They run up to you at a uh, 
at a fast pace and try to hack your head. Um, apart from that, that's really the only variety in enemy you kind of kill. Um, there are some heavier types of the larger guys with shotguns and sometimes they throw grenades but there isn't a great variety in the way you are attacked and it's kind of just waves of troops in different sections of the game as you and the team carry out objective based gameplay but apart from that it plays well and it's quite fun um, I haven't played too many of the games so I'm not going to critique it just yet because I'm not sure if there are any more game modes but it seems just to be go to objective which I'm ca getting up to right now activate it do something like shoot out a call which I did in my solo mission on this one you seem to just press a button and it's all go now it's time to extract and you have to fight your way out to the extraction pods Also, I'd just like to bring up at that point that that's where I use a special ability. It's a, and there again, a, it's like a dash. Uh, I believe when you go into somebody with it, it's an instant kill. Um, you have the option to upgrade all of these things, like I was showing you in the previous menus, like adding mods. It seems I haven't experimented too much with those. I just wanted to jump into some gameplay. You also seem to have a main firearm and a secondary pistol, as well as your sword. Um, that offers for some interesting gameplay. The sword I use a little bit in close quarters. I should imagine I'd use it a lot more if I were to upgrade it. Ah, here's another aspect of a uh, different gameplay. The uh, air has been sucked out and my shields are decreasing. If you look in the top right hand corner, I'm trying to find a way to get out, but I realise that everybody else is going without me. Um, so you have to do this fairly quickly, otherwise you die, I assume. Somebody is hacking it at the back of the room there. Uh, I did have this experience in the solo mission, um, so that you, it looks like they were, they'll use it a few times. I'm just showing you hacking here, although somebody already hacked it to open the door, but that is what the mini game looks like for hacking, so they integrate a little bit of another gameplay style through the use of hacks. So as you see, you're notified by the Lotus that more waves of enemies are coming in to attack you. Um, that basically is the same thing time and time again, which is okay for a while. I can imagine getting quite bored of it. Um, I had fun in this though, it was just shooting things, not much thought put into it. The most thought you had to put into things were the hacking, which were connecting the dots. So it's okay, it's not a game where you have to be clever to play, it's it's a shooter. I'll leave it at that. I thought that was an enemy there. Right, so now where I'm coming up to now is a uh, lootable area that signified by green. When you click X, the thing shoots out a load of ammunition, shields and things. Um, that's about as far as lootable objects go in this game, I'm pretty sure, which is just the ammo and health and shields. Um, apart from that, that's a that's about it for collecting things in game uh, although you do need ammo I found in the solo a lot I ran out quite frequently and had to run past a lot of enemies because 
I'd already looted all the ammo in the level. You are given a mini map with the exclamation mark showing you where you need to go next because I had lost my teammates at this point. Um, trying to find my way back to them. So the mini map definitely helps with that. Okay, there, that's one of the small guys with the rotors on their hands. He's obviously bugged out, and so I just shot him in the head. But that's what they look like. Okay, there's another hacking terminal there, which one of the players is going to override to open up the door to the next section. Also, at the start of the level, there was a door that required two players to open. Um, so, this is definitely a co-op level, or that part was integrated into the level once detecting that it was being played cooperatively. To my right there, you may have saw, seen there are some more lootable boxes. And here are the extraction pods. You walk into these walls, which have a mould of your body, and are taken away by a spaceship. But we have to wait for all players to be in the area once. Before the time runs out, I don't know what happens when the time does run out. I assume all players are going to be shot over to the area or maybe the game ends and you fail um, so that kind of ruined it by me saying that I don't know what happens because obviously we don't fail now we're just waiting for that guy to come up and we can extract okay so you get rewards and XP on certain weapons which is interesting. Oh, and there's the pistol mod, so I'll be able to equip that later. There's the spaceship I was talking about. Okay, and this is my this has been my quick review for Warframe. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope I have provided you with the information as you sought. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Every little help, seeing as my channel's only just started off. Thanks for watching.